All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a house. Um, we're just going to make a simple house. If you want to make something crazier, I'll teach you how to do that eventually once we make some dungeons. Because once you learn how to make some dungeons, you'll pretty much learn how to make anything. Except for maybe caves, because I still don't understand how to make those really. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the interior first. So, what we're going to do is... We're going to look for a cell to duplicate, right? And I usually pick something very simple that doesn't have like any important triggers or NPCs in it, just in case. So the thing I like to get is the something in Evergreen Mills, uh, Evergreen Mills. It was like something about a house or something. Evergreen Mills side boss house. So I'll right click on this, right? I'm going to hit duplicate cell. And there's our duplicate. And I'm going to change the cell ID. Because this is going to be Rod Rodney Red's house. And then after I click on this, I'm going to click the top part right here. I'm going to scroll all the way down. Then I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click the bottom one. So everything is selected. Then I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to hit delete. So everything is deleted except the nav mesh. So we're going to delete that in a moment. And now what we're going to do is we're going to double click on this. Ignore. So now that we're inside of the cell. Uh, now you could quickly click on this nav mesh thing right here and it'll bring up this window and you could just left click, hold this down, scroll and select everything. Oops, excuse me. Click these, click all of these and then hold left click mouse down, select all of these and then just hit delete on your uh underneath the insert button right so everything's deleted now close this window and we'll get into nav mesh in another video because you're going to need that in order for npcs to walk around the house because if there's no nav meshing they won't move all right so we're going to come to the objects tab over here and we're going to look for static uh static Where is this? All right, here we go. Static. Now, in here is where you can you can filter some things if you want, like caves, dungeons, office buildings, things like that. And there's also some pre-built interiors as well. So I'm going to use one of those. I'm going to use a shack. And then you could preview how they look as well. So you could right click on the object. This menu will pop up and you hit preview. And then now you can see how it looks. And you could leave this window open. And then you could scroll through all the different things. And you can see all the different objects you could place around your house and stuff like that. But yeah, we're just going to use the end. We're going to use this for the exterior and then we're going to use this for the interior. Actually, there's a better one than this. Excuse me. Let me find it real quick. All right. Here it is. The wood shack. I want. These are the exterior models. And these are the interior models. So we're going to use we're going to use the big one because it has a second floor. And when we nav mesh, I want to show you how to nav mesh on stairs as well. So let's get that one it is wood shack 3 interior we're gonna click on it and we're just gonna drag it into the world now you can hit a on your keyboard to turn the lights on and you'll be able to see better now the first thing that i always do when i'm making an interior is i drag my first piece in and when, once i do i double click on this and i come to all of these perimeters right here the x y and z and i turn them all to zero
all right and if you're having trouble looking for objects in your cell window you could just come over here to your cell and then inside of here will be all of your objects before we go any further i want to say you should right click on your cell go to edit and then in here you'll be able to change like all the different data and the lighting and things like that we're not really going to get into the lighting right now but we are going to change the data so we could change the owner of this place and the name of the the house as well so we're going to call this rodney's house and then the owner npc is going to be rodney and this encounter zone i'm not exactly sure what this means i'm just going to um select like megaton just in case because megaton is way safer than evergreen mills and i'm just going to hit apply and i think that's it right here you could change what type of music you want to play once you step in here i actually am going to change it i'm going to change it to like I want to change it to megaton music, but if I can't find that, I'm just going to settle for 10 penny, 10 penny lobby music. All right. You don't have to put anything if you, if you don't want to. If you don't select anything, the same music that was playing when you're outside will play once you step inside the house. <clears throat> All right. So there is our house. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a door to this thing so that way it could take us outside to where we are so we're going to come over to the objects tab again and we're going to search for door now in here you can search for your different doors if you're using a wooden shack there's like a wooden shack door if you're using a metal shack there's probably a metal shack door there's doors that match every type of interior that interior and exterior that you're using and you don't have to match them if you don't want to so i'm just going to drag this door in here like this and to make sure that you move everything nice and evenly along the axis like this you can select this snap to grid because if i don't snap to grid i'll be able to freely move it around and this is okay if you want to strategically place some things, but if you're like making an interior and you try to place all of your ground and walls with this, you'll probably get clipping. All right, so I'm going to turn that back on. And this one is for rotating. So like if it's off, I could freely rotate it. And if it's on, then it'll snap to the grid when I rotate it. All right, so let's go ahead and place this door over here and we'll hit F to drop it to the ground a little bit and so if if you're trying to like if you're snapping to grid right and let's say you try to place it up against something and it's moving too far from what you like you can open the render window properties there's a way to do it up here I can't really remember at the moment but what I do is I click out I right click into the nothingness like this and I go to render window properties and you click over to movement and you could change these numbers right here. So since it's moving too much for me, I could like cut this in half. That's what I like to do. So I'll change that to 16 from 32. And now when I move it, it'll move a bit better as you can see. And then you could go down to like eight if it's still not doing enough for you and things like that. So that's good enough. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to double click on the door and I'm going to have this window pop up. Now I'm going to put this over here for now. We'll worry about that later. Now what you want to do is you want to go outside to where you want to place your shack. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. All right, so we're back outside. There's my NPC and I'm going to place the house like right here a bit. It's probably going to be hanging off and having a gap, but this is just for a, a tutorial. So I'm going to go back to my static, which I should have did before starting the recording again. All right. 
So in my static tab, I'm going to go to what was it? It was Wood Shack, I believe. Okay, Wood Shack. And then remember, you can use the preview if you're not exactly sure how it looks. So it was this one, the big one. I'm going to left click and drag it, hold it down. And there it is, it's in the world. Now you can just adjust it to how you want it. I'm gonna hold Z, Z to move it up and down. And then I'll right click to rotate it. And then I'll move it in a bit this way. And when you're in the world space, it could get a little wonky when you're moving around. Okay, so <clears throat> I just moved everything further down the road. There's the diner over there. I just moved the house down the road. All right. So once you're back outside, you want to grab another door. I'm going to grab this wooden shack door. We're going to drag it into the world. I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to hit F to drop it to the floor. And we're going to place it up against here. All right. That's good enough. Now, that window that we opened earlier and we clicked it over here to the right. Oops, I don't know why that has a reference ID. Hit this teleport button. And then make sure that the door that you wanted to teleport to is, you know, in your window. This way it's easier to select. So we're going to hit select reference and wind render window. And then we're going to click on our door. And then this yellow uh, marker is going to pop up. Once this happens, you can click OK, because now our door from the interior is linked to the door from the exterior. So you're going to take this yellow marker and you're going to move it to a nice position because this is where you and the NPCs will spawn when they leave the interior and appear in the exterior. So I'll put it right here. You, Some people like to put it up right up against the door. I like to put it up against, like put it out in the front a little bit. Just in case if you have followers, they won't get stuck behind the door. <clears throat> so I'll just put it, pull it out a little bit. All right. And then once you have it positioned right, you need to position the interior one. So you can double click on this yellow icon and it says, do you, does it want to take you to the linked reference? And then you, yes. And then now here's the linked door. Click on this yellow icon for here and do the same thing. Place it however you want to place it. All right, I hit save. And then we're done. Now your house is into the world. Obviously, it's not going to work properly, but it's going to take me a long time if I show you everything. So I just wanted to show you this first part. And let's go ahead and jump in game real quick so I can show you. All right, so here we are in game. And here's our house with all of our stuff that we moved. And we're just going to... Oh, yeah, he owns the place. So, he can't... We can't go in there. I forgot. Well, we can't go in there without trespassing. So, as you can see, here's the house that we made for him. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'll show you more things in the next video, like how to decorate it, how to nav mesh it, how to, like, uh, make it so that you can enter here without getting in trouble and things like that. All right. So see you guys later. Take care.